we'll find out if it does in recall status label recall text um, and then so ignore this for now just going to do a bit of space because we need to put a for loop in here so recall status text equals on and then we're going to say um, just copy that cut that bring that down a little bit because we're not using it yet so for int i equals zero i is less than six because there are, uh, is it six? No, it's seven actually. Because there are seven addresses, seven different addresses. If you go to the top and check out, you'll see seven of them. I plus plus. Um, and all we're saying is, uh, it's, inc <laughs> it's incredibly simple actually when you break it down because it's, I had a lot of trouble with it, but once you do find that formula and the way of getting that, them results written, it's actually quite straight straightforward. So um, what we're writing here is we're writing recoil address, address, I, okay, so because we're going to go through the loop, and um, I'm just going to maximize this on my example so I can read it properly. Yes, yeah, so I um, hope you guys can hear me properly because I'm moving away from the mic a little bit. Um, and now what we're going to do is something a bit um, that we haven't done before. So we're going to call a function we haven't created yet. We're going to create in a second string two char array. And as the name gives it away, it converts say a string to a character array. Um, so and then we're going to use our nobs, so nobs, number of bytes. Now feel free to check this. This took me a while to come up with this of bytes because uh, I was having a bit. Well, my alternative to this was basically just um, writing everything, every single address, and that is not very efficient. So I decided to write my own function, and um, I decided to put these all in uh, arrays. So move elements i minus one, and this should be num of bytes. I so the number of bytes there. So write to memory recall address. That seems fair. String to char array nopes. Number of bytes I minus one. I know this isn't the most efficient thing, but it does cut our lines in quite a bit. Calling a function on every loop, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Da, 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 da. So let's create our string to char array function quickly. So char string to char. So we want to return a char array uh, std string uh, str to convert okay std string str to convert and this is actually quite straightforward you just say char char ret so as in char to return equals new char and the reason why you have to do this, declare it this way is because uh, why is it? Let me think. It's because um, str to convert dot length because we are defining it with the dynamic value. So if it was a static, if it was four or five every time, but because we don't know the length of the string that's coming in, we need to define it like this. Um, let's try a string convert. So it's, this is like a C sharp approach. So that's where you see a lot length. So uh, plus one actually. So we want to find the length plus one, and the reason why we do this because um, we want to make sure it doesn't overflow our array, of course. Um, and then we say std strc, so string copy, and we're going to say um, char red. So all we're doing is copying the contents of the string to convert into the char, str to convert dot c str so basically it's converting it so uh, let me think is that correct c str basically all this does is it grabs this converts it into characters and it brings it here okay so what we then do just making sure this is correct uh, so convert um, plus one that seems good uh, char return and hopefully this very simple function will return our character uh, our array of characters and the reason why we're doing that is because our function write to memory only accepts uh, a char array. So as you can see here, value to write. That's why we're doing that. And we make we put them to strings in the first place because it's much easier to understand. So let's go there. Hopefully that's okay. I just really don't want to make a mistake there. String char char I'll return equals new char. Just put an F6. See if everything's okay. Nope. No of bytes. What do you mean, no of bytes? Oh, it should be a capital no there. Oops. So that should be good now. 
Oops, definitely not good. String to char array. Um, what are you talking about? This function's beautiful. What do you What do you mean you can't find it? Oh, what did I do here? String to char. So yeah, it should be string to char array. Um, copy legal index. Bloody. Yeah, I must have made a small mistake here. Um, Um, there should be a comma there, so string to char array, nopes, uh, number of bytes, i minus one, yep, that's good. And then close that, string to char array, close that, and then number of bytes. Should be accepting that quite nicely. Uh, why isn't it? It's so write to memory, yeah, that's good. What's wrong with that? Write to memory, record address. Illegal index, indirection not allowed. Okay, so the thing missing here is really sorry, I got two breakpoints. Uh, you just want to return, um, and you want to return char ret. That's what you want to return. So I don't know if that accepts that, and that's good. So um, so that's fine there. So find out what's going on with my write to memory. See, this is the beauty of um, good old IntelliSense not being available. You end up struggling a bit more with this. Um, so just open, close that. Uh, that seems fine. Recall address I, which I did define at the top. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. String to char array. I did. I do have that, and it accepts a string, I believe, which is nopes, which I declared at the top. Number of bytes. Do I have number of bytes? Clear at the top, I certainly do. Um, minus one. Uh, I think I know what the problem is. It should be here. That should have been on the inside. Oh crap, what the hell is that? I had to copy that. What a big piece of crap. That should be minus one there, so I'm just going to confirm that's right. Yeah, that, that is right. So, um, there's number of bytes. Minus one. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Um, that should be okay now. Should give me some stupid mistake. Oh, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, I see. Yeah, total noob action. Should have been an I there as well. So I remember when I was designing this. It was just so confusing. Um, that's what what happens when you break down a ton of lines down into a few. Um, yeah, so that's good. So that's our, our recall done. So it goes through everything and just nopes them all. Um, and then the next part is basically the same. And we turn the recall back on. So for in, uh, let's just declare that as off and just put another for loop in there. And um, we do exactly the same, except, except what we do here is we sending in the. Uh, so we've got the nopes there. This doesn't use the nopes anymore. This uses our. Um, so get rid of that. Recoil default. Should be def uh, opcodes. So that should be our default opcodes. And that should be i. So hopefully that will work well. Let me make sure I define that. I have not. So it probably is default on my example. I've got. Yep, that's good. I'm happy with that. Um, and it's that simple. That's our recall done there. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake, of course. No more bite side. Yep. That looks good to me. So now we're going to do our last one, which is for F5. And uh, we're nearly there, pretty much. So copy, make a copy of F3 here, because F3 is um, very similar to F5. So this one is going to be uh, automatic weapons. Weapons. Uh, or guns, actually. Um, F5. So what you do here is you do one press same same as before, and then you say auto gun status, auto gun status not equal if auto gun status blah blah, blah. auto gun auto gun. Let's make sure the name is correct here. Come on, and that is auto gun status. That's correct. So copy that if you like. Make it easier. Um, text equals off. And what you do here is you say auto gun opcode auto gun opcode and 
just copy that there. Autogun default opcode. That's the difference. Um, and we're going to do that to autogun autogun uh, address. So they both go to the same address, of course, and they're both two. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Mm hmm. That's okay. So one press timer. Um. And yeah, the last thing we've got to do here. So within our timer, make sure we don't forget that. And that's within our clock. And just outside our clock, we're going to do something. So we're going to go if health status. This is what I mentioned to you earlier. Health. Oops, that should be a big H. Health status. Um. Hope oh, perhaps isn't <coughs> eating up my whole hard drive as usual. Just, um, so if health status, then if address to write. Now address to write, we define that back in F3. So once it's on, the address to write is defined. Defined. It's not equal to null. Oops. We write to memory. So write. So just copy this. I mean. Yeah, just copy this, be lazy. Uh, let's go look for F2 of health status, just copy that. And we're going to make one change. So address to write. Um, and all we're going to say is say health value there, value. And we have two um, bytes on that health value, so that should be good. So let's pull an F6 on this, and we have some errors. So autogun address, uh, autogun address. Whether I declare this at the top. Um, auto gun. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So, no, hang on. That seems fine. Auto gun address. Oh, I forgot an A there. So, take a sip of that. That seems good to me. So, I believe that is our program complete. So, all this left to do now is test it and fix any errors. So, hopefully, there won't be many errors. So, what we're going to do now is going to build solution. All right. Make sure you do that. And now what you have to do, uh, I do have my folder here already, so go to your, so here's where mine's located, go to your, um, so if I go here I can tell you, see, um, and uh, you can find, so go through whatever location you've got in yours, and once you get into the actual, um, the actual thingy, uh, so you've got this folder here, and once you get to, um, this make sure you click debug. So if you've got it on release, go on release. But hopefully all of you got on on debug. And this is your DLL file. That's the thing we're going to inject. So, um, like I said to you earlier, so I'm going to delete this here. Like I said to you earlier, I um, I've got it going to my C hacks folder. So if you look back on your injector, where's our injector? Yeah. So if you look back on this, you should see the name defined here. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Here we go, that's mine. So that's the address, well not the address, but the place where mine's going. So if you're not sure, do a folder like mine here, do a folder called Hacks on your C or D drive if you got that one, and go for that. And then, um, as I said to you, my thing is named Change, so I want to copy that, and I'm going to put it here, and that's the name of my uh, DLL, so, and then there's, there's the name of my game. So I'm going to try and inject it, see how it goes. Build started, just making sure. Uh, so that's our DLL injector. So let's turn that on. All right. Hopefully this will go well. Uh, let's close that. Uh, come on. Where is it? Where's my bloody injector? Come on, you fool. All right. So here we go. So apparently he's searching for um, the AC client.exe. Yeah, that seems good to me. So. What I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to close this quickly. Okay, so I just run the thingy quickly, and I found a small problem. Um, it's a very simple problem. All we have to do is uh, change our value here. Now, our health-based address. For some reason, I forgot to add that. That was from the old, um, the old one. So basically, I've got my example here. Um, so write this value in. So you should have got this value stored somewhere. Um, health base address. Yeah, you should have this value. If you did the second, um, if you did the multi-level pointers tutorial, which should, should have been the second part, you should have that. And that is F4, so 73C, and that should be okay. And uh, that should be good. So, um, yeah, so let's try and run this, see if it works. So, um, let's press F6, and that should be our address. So, let me just close both of these. Um, so, we're going to run our injector, so make sure 
you update that there so I've got all my debug folders I'm going to get there copy that and paste it into my hacks folder again I'll write that value and uh, just run my injector so DLL injector so here we go so make sure game is running so let's run the game as you can see here DLL injected successfully and we can see it through here so closing injector in five seconds so the injector is closed and here's our beautiful interface so let's just see this this is all normal so let's press F1 uh, so ammo is going down as normal press F1 so as you can see we shoot and the ammo comes up that's beautiful as expected uh, next thing we're going to try is F2 freeze health so here's our health constantly at um, 1287 uh, 1337 sorry uh, bot team deathmatch let's go for it can be the best we don't care we'll kill them all um, uh, yeah, so he, as you can see here, we'll find out if my health decreases in a second. Uh, but as you can see, uh, shooting, let's ch change uh, no time between shots. Uh, as you can see, you can shoot as many times as I like. Let's turn off recoil because it's just a lot of trouble. As you can see here, let's just go to them. Let's see if they can kill me. Yeah, as you can see, they've got uh, no time between shots as well. But like I told you, if you do this in an online game like Call of Duty, then only you will have that. It's only because they share the same memory as you, because they're bots. And as you can see, I'm here. Now, if I turn um, all guns automatic along with uh, F3, this is what happens. I pretty much get to shoot as many rounds as I like. See, and they can shoot me as much as they like. My health isn't leaving where it's at, because uh, it keeps... Now, if I turn... Rico with this, I will fly pretty much. So you can try, try if you like. And this is pretty much it, guys. So um, I'm almost going up instead of going down, which is great. Um, you can try any other weapon up to you. So I'm going to try the shotgun quickly to show you. Uh, combat shotgun. So I'm going to let them kill me. So I'm re releasing my health back to what it was. Uh, let's ch see. The shotgun is incredible for this because it's got such a sp amount of spread. And if it's shooting this many rounds per second. It's going to kill them so quickly, it's ridiculous. So as you can see, have a look at that. See, they haven't even got a chance. And, um, yeah, I believe that's it. So everything should be turning off. Yeah, as you can see, hammer works. No recoil. Now I've got tons of recoil. Let's turn it back on. Uh, guns automatic. Yeah, and this is pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to close this now. Um, notice if you close the game, that will also close. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I hope you you enjoyed that I hope you like um, liked what we did um, on the description there's there should be a full solution there if there isn't it's because I forgot to put it there so leave me a comment um, map 232 I think his name is he told me last time and I totally forgotten so that was cool of him um, yeah so that solution is fully commented so if you got any errors with yours at the end and you, you want to fix them and you finding out why isn't it working so check with that compare that to yours it's probably just a small typing error that you made along the way um, that happens to all of us and uh, yeah I hope that's it I mean if you can hack this if, if you followed all the tutorial and you followed all the steps then I guarantee you that you can hack any game because um, well if you understand it anyway because the, the methods are the same almost every time um, Call of Duty any kind of game like that Battlefield all games run on the same type of um, procedures and stuff so the memory is always involved and so on so um yeah i hope you enjoy that guys um let me know if you want to see something else soon like if you want me to hack a specific game uh i can try and have a look for you uh, and let me know so i hope you enjoyed that i'll see you later